Well, it's Martin Bustos from the Lavender Project. I'm Tony Sager of the Lavender Project. And we're coming at you to show you the motherfuckers about <laughs> Disney and Shyster. Now, if you wonder what the hell this is, and you might notice it from our ghost hunting videos, this is the bell that <laughs> my grandpa gave to me on his deathbed. Well, I had it on already, and it symbolizes him on his deathbed. You feel me? And, uh, it was a weird way that I found it. This has nothing to do with the video, but it's, it was a weird way to find it. Oh, shit. Uh, the bell. I woke up, and the bell was in the middle of the floor, just chilling. I was like, whoa, what the fuck? So I grabbed it, and I ran to school. I'm like, Tony, Tony, it's here. I found it. Yeah. He's like, what the fuck? So that's a little creepy update for you. Anyway, so today we're going to be talking about Disney popular subliminal messages out in the latest videos and some of the older ones, actually, in cartoons. Um, I think Martin actually started showing me these. Um, and so we're finally doing a video on it after it's been on our list for like two months now. So, yeah. Um, so let's start off with the basic, the so, easiest subliminal. <clears throat> the easiest of the subliminal messages is a very well-known one, and it has to do with the uh, Walt Disney logo. And it is very satanic in some way. Um, you will see when uh, Anthony shows you. And it's right. six, six, motherfucking six. So basically there it is right there. This guy actually just showed you with the um, uh, this red over here. Um, that the part of the W and the uh, top of the I and then part of the Y. Uh, together they're sixes and they all spell 666. So it's just a little kind of funny thing that we all found, and it's kind of like the oldest, most basic subliminal message. It's kind of, um, it's kind of, what's it called? Uh, coincidence, I guess you could say, coincidental. Um, and we have a lot of more uh, other subliminals to show you. So, um, anyways, uh, let's see what we can show you on this part. Damn it, it won't work. Come on, work. Okay, so anyways... This is the next one that Martin was actually talking about to me. This is the boner. <laughs> so basically, what what was this in uh, Sleeping Beauty, right? No, this was uh, Ariel or some shit. Ariel's Adventure. Well, no, uh, uh, the, the Land Before Time. No, The Little Mermaid. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, so apparently this was in The Little Mermaid. And um, like the priest that gets them married... You can see right here, like, he's just an old guy. He's b -b -b -boner. And then he gets a boner, apparently. And that's kind of disgusting, because if you have the original tape, you can actually see this boner. Yep. Or it might be, a, like, either a really small chode, or just his sack, and he has no nuts, or no dick. But anyways, um, yeah, that's kind of disgusting when I saw that. And I didn't believe it, but now I do, because I actually saw it. And yeah, so let's see what else we can show you. These are, we just wanted to quickly show you guys some of these subliminal messages that we found. Yeah, because it's been eating away at our fucking souls forever. And yeah. We're just like, well, damn. So this is the next one we have to show you. So, now this one, I have a funny story to tell about. This one I showed Tony, you know, months ago. Hold on, can you see it? Movie. There, now you can see it better. And uh, this is actually from the original video, from the original clip of the rescuers. And they have cropped titties in the background. From like a porn vid or something. <laughs> yeah, so if you look in the background of the video over here, you can actually see in um, in the window, you see a woman, a live human with like her naked body. And her titties Yeah, it's kind of disgusting and disturbing. Well, not really disgusting, just kind of disturbing for a Disney movie. Pretty fucking sexy. Oh, uh, yeah, it actually is. Um, But it's just kind of creepy. Uh, if you guys haven't seen these before, it's actually pretty, you know... Pretty cool to actually look at these, even though they're disgusting. Most of them are actually sexual, but... Um, anyway, starting with this one. This one is a really popular one. Uh, Martin actually has this at yes, home. Yes, uh, I have two cases. There, there's only 100 made in the whole world. Not the whole world, but, you know, at least in the U.S. And there's I have two. And uh, they're very, very rare because there's only 100 made, and then they stopped reproduction or whatever. And uh, it's pretty fucking bows. Yeah, so basically, it's the logo, I mean, the the front cover of the uh, Little Mermaid. And um, so basically, you can see the castle in the background. Um, I think it's King Triton's, uh, yeah, King Triton. And then, if you notice anything weird, you can see this part looks like a dildo or a penis. And uh, yeah, it kind of does. You can see the head right there, and like the nuts. And it even shows you on this... 
it shows the heads right there, the shaft, the scrotum is down here, and then the glistening. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of disgusting. <laughs> but that's really funny. The glistening scrotum. <laughs> so apparently this guy was probably either a pimp or just rich as fuck because he has a golden glistening sack. Okay. So next on our list, we're going to go to lionsex.jpg. Infamous sexiness from the Lion King. Yeah, so basically... Um, this is not actually something that you see in the movie, however, if you actually pause right at this point, when I think that's, uh, is that Simba? That is Mufasa. That's no, Mufasa. that's Simba, that's Simba. That's Simba and, uh, what's her name? I forget it. Kinder. Starts with an N, though, I know that. Natasha. Nala. 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 Uh, they're, so they're laying on the cliff, and then if you pause it, right, when, the like, clip. the, what's, <laughs> what's it called? The fireflies, I think those are? And they're, like, flying away, and if you pause it right here, it spells sex. And it even shows right here. That's like a revised version of sex. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. And, I mean, it could be co total coincidence. However, that's probably... That's pretty disgusting because you know how animated movies are. They have to, you know, draw every, like, film, like, at one at a time. Every scene. And, uh, Disney was a well-known, uh, racist. Yeah, he was, actually. Um, I don't know how that ties in the sex, but it's he's a well-known racist, so you know he'd be doing that crazy shit. So anyways, this is another thing from The Lion King, and I think this is when the new movies came out, but basically, look, you can see Mufasa's face in the background here, like, from the heavens or whatever, looking down on his son, and then if you actually notice, in this, it looks like it's you can see a girl's hair, her two arms, a small titty, and then, like, a bikini, uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah. bottom thing and then like it's her like ass phone. and it's yeah like a phone. and basically it kind of looks kind of creepy if you actually look i mean i didn't notice that but it, it's kind of just weird how this crap happens in disney movies and uh yeah <laughs> i thought that was actually pretty funny when i saw that and uh people must have a lot of time on their hands in order to find this stuff we don't have a lot of time on our hands that's why we do things weeks in and weeks out you feel me yeah but you have to have a creative and disgusting mind if you want to find all this stuff. No. Anyways, next up, uh, the Dick. one. This is pretty funny because it actually shows Minnie and Mickey, and Mickey is basically pulling his girlfriend and hugging her and whatnot. And then if you close it up, it looks like he. It's Mickey Mouse blue penis. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he has. He's holding a big blue penis. You can see one ball there, and then another nut there. And then you could see the shaft, and then obviously that's the head. And there's his three fingers, and then the button of his shirt looks like it's his thumb, so it looks like he's whacking off. And it's kind of funny, because if you actually look at this one and then take it off, he looks like he's having quite fun there. Hold on, let me take off the legs there. There we go. That looks nice. <laughs> Anyways, so when this moves out of my way, next up is... This is actually a pretty fast video, dude. Yeah, um, so this is actually... A picture from, what was it, Roger Rabbit? Yeah, Who Framed Roger yeah. Rabbit. I, I love that movie. That's like an 80s movie, I think. Love it. And um, it's actually in this point, part of the film, you can actually see, uh, I think that's his girlfriend or his wife or something. That's his girlfriend. Yeah, and... Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, and you can actually see like her underwear or her vagina or what. I, I can't really see it that good. Now, at this point in the scene, though, they are, uh, they had just hit what they call the dip, and that's what kills the cartoon characters. The taxi cab hit the dip, and they're flying out of the car, and uh, her legs spread wide open in front of the camera. Wow, so someone, like, paused that there, like, uh, in the Lion King? I'm sure. That's pretty crazy. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of funny to look at. Um, or some pervert did it, and they wanted to jack off and shit. And finally, the most recent one, which is our last one of the video. This is uh, actually the um, intro thingy, like the cover for Tangled. And if you look at it, uh, the way her hair is, it spells sex once again. And you can even see right there, there's the S and then the E and then the X. Now, that's probably another coincidence. However, you know, you with all these fucking things happening, you can't dismiss the fact that this, is pr this might right. be, you know, actually people wanted to do this for a reason. Now... We saw an other. We saw another uh, photo just like this, and I wanted to point this out. If you take away the bottom part of the G and you take away the T and the uh, E and the D, it spells anal. Yeah. So, so sex, anal sex, and then supposedly this is like a big ass dick, and then this is like the ball sack and stuff like this. So that's like the humongous black shaft, <laughs> and then this is the head over here. 
And then this is the ball sack with the glistening and the the rhyming and the So anyways, the that's a <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bill Cosby. Cosby. <laughs> so anyways, that's basically all we have to show you for today. You can look up some more uh, subliminal messages. And holy shit, the light from the window is killing the view on this camera. Oh, um, but anyways, yeah, search, search these up if you want to actually see them for yourself. Yeah. And uh, search the others up. I mean, there's not many others that we could find, um, but I know there definitely is. Oh, and that's only in pictures, though. There's plenty of... Uh, audio? Audio yeah. that we will do in a separate video, so... You know, stick around with us for that long at least. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? Then you can unsubscribe then and be assholes and all you want. No, I'm just kidding. He Anyways. and I is how. He and I is how. Okay. Oh, and um, what's her name? Gator. Uh, Tony's been talking about you all day. Okay, no, so shut <laughs> up, you liar. <laughs> and that's the only reason why he recorded me no, the whole time. Shut up! Instead of you. No, be quiet. <laughs> no. no. Okay, if she's watching this video, I hope she, like, wants you now. I hope she thinks you're cute, okay? Damn it. Hell not. Just because you see that. <laughs> I'm fucking playing, nigga. I, I'll be out there getting my shit. So I ain't even trying to. Oh, but baby, but I, I'm, I, I'm so kind of a married man <laughs> kind of so <laughs> i'll be getting mine though i'll be getting so yeah you get gator no I'm just get no get um the real blazer blazer laser blazer 22 that's like a dude yeah his name is robert that's a fucking weird name <laughs> what <laughs> that's like bobby Mackey, dude okay we're like making this yeah. like video funny as shit actually <laughs> we're prologuing the video <laughs> so first it was shit. like random bell and then <laughs> subliminal messages and then now we're just trolling our viewers <laughs> no wonder why we like people unsubscribe from our shit no shit maybe we should make like a couple comedian videos every now and then and just to yeah, make people dude, fuck it. cause we're too money we're too money we're, we're fun as shit but like we're, it's kinda hard to be serious all the time yeah I mean we have plenty of blooper videos that yeah we, we're, we're, we're gonna upload a blooper video eventually when we get editing software and crap so, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed these subliminal messages. We'll have more coming up. You could search them or whatever. Uh, search the audio ones, too. Search the video ones. These are just still pictures. Um, and tell us if you have your own, or even if they're not Disney, because we're going to do lots of subliminal messages about other shit, too. Dude, um, she probably just schlicked right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> You're mean as shit, dude. You're hella mean. I'm not mean, dude. Just You're don't... schlicking as we speak. <laughs> okay. So, anyways. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, I want to say something. I want to say something, fucker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say something. Oh, damn it. I forgot. Oh. <laughs> uh, what the hell is your name? The Real Blazer. Bruh, we like you. We re hey, not respect, but we, we feel you. You feel me? We feel you. Right? We like you. But... Bruh, we got no connection towards you, so how can something that's haunting me haunt you? I'm just saying, you feel me? So, I mean, you could be having the same experience, you feel me? But... Who knows, because the video of Sparky, it, it fucked up my computer, too. So, I, I mean, as far as the video is, is concerned, he could be connected, but I don't think it's a spirit. Right, I don't think it's the same fucking spirit, yeah. you feel me? I, I think don't... it might be some, like a poltergeist from your house, or like something from my I house. No I don't I have no. Yeah, but anyways, this was supposed to be a subliminal message video, we just made it funny, but anyways. Yeah, so, search that stuff up and tell us what you guys have, and thanks for watching this video. I have a, I have a subliminal message, um, if you reverse this video after I say, um, yes we can... You you just heard me say thank you, Satan. Really? Yeah. Boss. Okay. Well, anyways, if you want to actually... I don't even know if that's possible. You can rewind YouTube videos. Who gives a shit? <laughs> okay, well, if you guys have rewinding software for YouTube videos, then go <laughs> ahead. And if you actually do this, make a video response to this video telling please, us that please. Martin said thank you, Satan. Thank okay, you, so Satan. anyways... Thank you, uh, Satan. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. I'm Tony Sager at The Lavender Project. Mar Bustos from The Lavender Project. Stick around for our other subliminal message videos and other funny stuff and uh, shout-outs to fans and shit like that. Yeah, shout-out to y'all fans that are watching this right now. Yeah, we're gonna, like, lose at least 10 subscribers hopefully. on this video. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> okay, anyways, yeah. Alright, then, y'all. Alright, bye.